Hey everyone, thank you for coming. We have Casey Stoney here. She's gonna give her thoughts on this weekend's match and then we'll open it up for questions. You go ahead. Yeah, obviously we need a response from last weekend. Um, disappointing result and performance. Um, some real honest conversations had this week um, and some really good work on the on the fields out here. So yeah, the only way we can respond is by putting in a good performance, you know, and competing at home to try and get all three points. Yeah, we have to start better. You know that we started flat. We started, you know, probably on the back foot too much. So we looked at that, and now we can start better uh, because we are at home. But that doesn't for me it doesn't make a difference. You know, some teams travel well, and, and and we didn't we didn't perform well enough. So we have to we have to be prepared to start. We have to be prepared to run. We have to be prepared to work. Uh, we have to be prepared to take our own goal. Um, so we've, we've looked at that, um, and we've the players have just gone brilliantly in terms of their attitudes, and, and I'm sure they will again on the weekend. Yeah. I know you mentioned before that the guys with the grass fields, guys, all the color match, but how is that going to be for the big chapter? Yeah, that's quite incredible. Um, <laughs> quite jealous of the players get to play there. You know, I love to play in a stadium like that as a player, but. I get to coach there, I get to see my team walk out and, and perform, and it's going to be an incredible moment for this football club. You know, it's one of the best stadiums I've ever been in terms of state of the art. You know, the players don't want to go from there. So exciting for us as a club, exciting for the community. Hopefully we can sell it out. That's our, you know, our target. Uh, we can get a real good good fan base behind us, and, and ultimately we, we want to go there and win. I think we all know when we've performed poorly, you know, I don't need to say too much. The first person I need to look at is myself. You know, the, bar, the buck starts and stops with me as the head coach. Um, I'll always look at how I prepared the team. Was it efficient enough? Did I set them up correctly? Um, and, and we've lost the answer to that's no. Um, I don't need to say too much to players. You know, they were devastated. They know that they the level wasn't good enough um, from start to finish, and they're desperate to put that right this weekend. With the playoff looming, are any of these upcoming matches? Do you think they're must-win matches? Or every game in this league is a must-win match. Every single game, and there's no guarantees. Every game is hard. Every game is difficult. Every game is competitive. So we take one game as it is, and I know that's cliche, but that's all you can do. And this weekend, it's a, a game against the, a side that's having a really good run. So, you know, it's going to be a tough game for us. And uh, finally, is, is Jody Taylor is she going to be available as the yet? Um, she's working towards fitness and she, she could be available for the weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Alicia, if you want to go ahead. Thank you very much. Hi, Casey. Thanks for your time today. I wanted to ask about uh, your thoughts about uh, the Pride. It's your first time playing them. Um, obviously, they've gone through a lot of changes uh, in the course of the season. So curious to hear your thoughts on the upcoming opponent. Uh, they're obviously under an interim coach and Seb's doing a really good job. Uh, in terms of their organization and their ability to get results so you know he's turned them around if, if in terms of their form so they're going to be a really difficult test for us they've got pace in their front line you know they're organized um, they're hard to break down so it's going to be a, a tough game for us we need to be at our best levels to try and get all three points great thank you Hector Coach, I don't know if you can answer this one, but obviously Alex Morgan had a, has a great uh, great career and she obviously played for uh, Orlando Pride previously. As a player during your time, maybe you can put a context on it. Is there an extra focus or an extra level of energy that you bring to playing a former team? Well, there's Alex Morgan, Taylor Korniak, Jody Taylor, Emily Van Eckman, all played for Orlando. So we've got four that hopefully will add a little bit of success to that, you know, I'm sure they'll want to go into the game and, and win. You, you do, you know, I played against clubs that I left previously and you 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 definitely want to make sure that you win because you've, you've moved to another club for a reason. Thank you. Thanks. Jackie. Hey, Casey, appreciate your time this morning. I had two questions for you, but um, first off, I know you kind of talked about some of those honest conversations that you were having with the team this week and just wanted to see what you were pleased with so far in terms of the team's progress um, just throughout the practices. 
their reaction. You know, they, were, they weren't happy with what they, they thought like. They wanted to get out and feel get it right. You know, on, on Tuesday, and they, they got out and worked really hard. They want to solve problems themselves. They want to be more adaptable. And, you know, we've, we've put them under high stress this week to make sure that we can solve problems. So, so impressed with the way they deal with adversity. Uh, they, they stick together. They're a very together group. They ask each other, you know, honest questions on on what they need and what they can do better. Um, and they hold me accountable too, you know, and that's important. Like I said, it, it starts and stops with me. Yeah, definitely. And then just kind of with this weekend being the final game at Torero, does that bring like a new level of pressure or excitement just in terms of the results that you want to see? We've got two more games uh, at Torero because we play this week and next week. Um, but no, it doesn't add any pressure. It's a game, you know, it's not not a pressure situation. We need to stop giving um, home games as pressure situations and see them as opportunities. We need to perform at home and, and get get results. Definitely. Well, thanks, and I'll see you this weekend. Thank you. Scott French. Hi, Casey. Um, are there dimensions that you'd like to add to this team right now? And do you feel like you have the ability to do so? Yeah, I'd like us to keep the ball a little bit more and play. You know, the first opportunity we had to play some decent football on the weekend, we scored. So I'd like us to have a variation to our game. We know we can go behind teams. We know we can um, exploit them in, with direct play, but we also need to be able to manage the, the ball and keep the ball a lot more in the opposition's half and wear them down more. So I'd like us to be a little bit more patient in our play. That's something that we'll be working on and looking at and um, hopefully being able to execute um, soon enough. How about in terms of adding talent? Yeah, well, we haven't we haven't added any players other than Poe in this window, and obviously Jaden. Jaden's a bit that big acquisition for us and Poe. Uh, unfortunately, we've obviously lost Jaden to the U20 World Cup, but you know she'll be back soon enough. So uh, we're six months in. We're sitting second in the league. Um, I need to be patient as well as everyone else. So we'll keep building. We'll keep working, and we're constantly looking to improve uh, personnel and our performances. And in moving to Snapdragon, are there any adjustments that you'll have to make technically in terms no. of? No. no. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Casey. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with Alex Morgan and Kelsey Turnbow. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Always waiting on Kelsey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey everyone. We have Alex Morgan and Kelsey Turnbow here. They're both going to give their quick thoughts on this weekend's game and then we'll open up for questions. So if you want to go first, Kelsey. Yeah, I think this game is important for us to bounce back. We really uh, have been working hard this week to to get three points this weekend. And so that's going to be huge. Um, we know Orlando's had some really great momentum in their past few games. So we're really looking forward to this challenge and, and bouncing back from last weekend. I agree with Kelsey. I think it's important for us to bounce back from last game. It wasn't um, a good showing from us. Um, and so it's really important for us to get back on track. And um, we know that we have it in us. We love playing at home. Um, we love feeling the energy from the crowd. And, um, and then for me personally, uh, playing against Orlando, um, rather than with Orlando um, is going to be a little different. I know a lot of those players, so, um, you know, and the coach very well. So um, it'll, you know, definitely be a new challenge um, and a different challenge for me, uh, but I'm really looking forward to this game. So what would you say are some of the key focus points in training this past week to get better from that week in Orlando? Um, I think one of the things is just looking at, how we can possess the ball a little bit better, switch the point of attack. Um, and knowing that we have to be versatile in our attack rather than um, so singular thinking. Um, and then at the end of the day, it's just taking care of the ball as well, like individually having the pride to um, use our technical ability to get out of pressure, um, either by the dribble or the pass, but making the right decision um, within that. So you've been getting a few spark. How important is it to you? Or how much does it mean to you for to get the press from Casey to put you in the starting lineup? Yeah, totally. It means a lot. I mean, we have such a, a talented group of players amongst us. And so to be able to 
to earn that starting spot and play alongside some of the best players in the world is is amazing. And I just can't wait for this weekend. It's going to be really good. And Alex, I have to ask, I listen to the students right now. Is there a lot of banter with Sheridan when it comes to speaking about that penalty from the country draft championship match? Uh, I think there was uh, a little bit the first couple days, but we've moved, we've moved forward. Um, I'm very happy that she's saving penalties with us at the Wave. Um, I I've said it from the start of the season when I started playing with her. I think she's one of the best goalkeepers in the world. She has proved that time and time again. Um, and it's just impressive. So I, I'm really enjoying being her teammate rather than opponent. Do you think you're going to get there? I don't know. What's Sam Kerr's record? I think she has 18 in the season. All right. Well, um, I mean, I hope one of us breaks it. Yeah. <laughs> I obviously, you know, I'd, I would love to be rooting for myself, but I'm rooting for, for anyone to break that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just also taking it one game at a time. Well, uh, the commentators have, have said a lot that San Diego is one of the most physical teams, but last week it seemed like Kansas City was really sticking it to it, really giving us the extra physicality. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't think we played our best last week. We didn't bring our best game. We weren't sharp enough and maybe weren't physical enough. And so I think that's just a wake-up call that every game is a challenge for us. And and it's going to be really crucial that we take each game as it is and, and work towards three points every single day we're out there moving forward because the, the league is so close in points right now. So, um, yeah, just every game matters. Thank you. Okay. Jess, if you want to go ahead. Up. Hey, Alex, um, kind of deep into the season now, I'm just wondering what's stood out to you about Casey's approach to just her coaching style and, and maybe the ability to get the whole team to buy in. And, and if that's any different in any way than maybe you've seen previously or even just kind of the a more general U.S. style. Sorry, I heard you, but there's like a helicopter <laughs> circling around. <laughs> uh, I can repeat uh, if you want. No, that's okay. okay. Um, I, I think the... Um, proactiveness in wanting collaboration um, from everyone, um, wanting input and valuing that from players um, and her staff. Um, I think that that's given all of us players confidence to be able to speak up in meetings. I swear this, it's literally circling around <laughs> us. They're looking for someone. <laughs> um, it's given us it's given us confidence to for everyone to speak up and and give input in meetings and feel like if there's any questions um, or concerns that players have that that's addressed before the game at the weekend. So I think that that's really impressive and um, that's kind of helped I think this team be so successful and um, have a really good locker room culture um, and good just team energy overall. Um, only six months into our first season. Thanks, Alex. And and Kelsey, um, just as as a newer pro, I guess, and you've moved across that front line a bit. Um, you know, there, there's a learning process to that, I guess. What, what how has that interaction looked for you um, with Casey in terms of kind of letting you learn, letting you maybe make mistakes as you go, and and kind of build from that? Is is that kind of a trust level between player and coach? Yeah, absolutely. I think Casey's just incredible as a coach and as a manager as a whole. Um, obviously, coming into the NWSL, being one of the best leagues in, in the entire world, if not the best league in the entire world, helicopters coming. <laughs> They're trying to scout us for this weekend, I think. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Yeah, but I think for any rookie, it does take a little bit of time to become acclimated to this league being it being so physical and the speed of play is so fast. And so um, Casey's really done a great job of really breaking things down with me, looking at film. Um, we really analyze everything with so much detail. And I think that's really helped me um, transition from college to pro. But um, I'm just grateful that they believe in me and that the players around me have supported me so much because there is so much to learn. And these girls and the coaching staff has such great experience that I feel like I'm in very good hands to grow and, and um, make a difference in this league moving forward. Thank you. Scott? Scott, you ready? There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Um, uh, I got a couple of questions for uh, for Alex first off. Uh, what what do you see as being the biggest difference for you this year 
Um, and are you enjoying this uh, this run of form in, in a way that you didn't before because of your experience, because uh, because of the things you've been through? Well, I think there's a couple of things. I mean, I, I feel healthy um, and um, the ability to just take care of my body and, and pay attention to the needs and have the, um, and have the attention to detail, but with the, our support staff in terms of, um, player loads and looking at that sort of data and kind of managing that through the week. I think that that attention to detail has, um, has been impressive this year. And it's something that I haven't seen in the league previously. Um, and then, uh, Casey has really given, um, you know, me and this team confidence, um, in playing different formations, players playing in different positions. Um, I haven't always played on it as the nine, um, in this team. And so just kind of making sure that everyone is set up for success. Um, that's been really helpful. And then I think just the feeling of being at home and, um, just feel feeling settled and feeling like um, this is like my city that not only that I'm playing soccer in, but that I'm representing and I'm living in, I'm see um, long-term and I'm raising my family in. Uh, it's just a good feeling all around. So I think my happiness off the field has, um, has translated to my success on the field. And just the experience of the whole thing, to be able to play near home, at home, uh, to be part of a, a club that's just beginning and has great aspirations, um, all of that, uh, what, what has that experience been like? Has it been uh, among the better experiences you've, you've gone through? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's still a young club and we're still learning uh, or we're still growing as an organization. Um, obviously, there was, what, six months or so to put a team together, um, which is an extremely short period of time, but um, the club has done incredibly well to um, to create a successful team um, and a great support staff um, for us. So now it's just um, continuing to rally the city around us um, and continuing to elevate um, this team, this organization, and, um, and yeah, and, and looking at this season so far, it's, it's been quite successful. So knowing that we came into an extremely professional environment, um, I, I think that everyone in this team wants to give it their all to, um, you know, to prove why we belong here and to show the city um, why they need to rally behind us as well. And, and just wanting to rep the city um, proudly. Thank you. And one question for Kelsey. I know it's difficult to talk about a teammate when she's sitting right next to you, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, just just what you've seen from Alex this season, what it's been like to be playing alongside her. And thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it goes without saying, being a forward, I've always looked up to Alex um, since I can remember. Uh, we would always go to the U.S. national team games and watch the NWSL. And so for this, this year is really special to be standing alongside of her and to be to be playing with her in practice and in games, you can just see her professionalism, how she takes care of her body, how she pays attention to so much detail and practice. And, and it really has high standards for herself and the team. It's truly incredible. And, and just being an outsider, you don't get to see that. So being alongside of her every single day has been super impactful and I'm just soaking it all up. Um, she's amazing and, and an even better teammate in person. So, um, it's incredible, and I feel really blessed to be teammates with her and friends. Thanks, Kel. <laughs> so Thank you. We only have a few more minutes, so I'm going to take two more questions. Amor, if you want to go ahead. Hi, good morning to everyone. Uh, I have a question for Alex Morgan. Um, the U.S. Women's National Team is going to play against England on October 7th, and the way that the tickets have been sold, it was just amazing. And what does it mean for you and for women's soccer in general, uh, this uh, response from the from the fans? Yeah, tickets sold out for that game in less than 24 hours. And we're also seeing um, a, a dramatic increase of fans tuning into games, either on the streaming platforms or on TV or, or buying tickets to the games. Um, 
every year I'm seeing an increase in, um, you know, since playing with the national team and professionally since 2010 or 11, um, it, it's really incredible to see the growth of women's football globally. And it's just a special time to be, um, to be a, a footballer right now, a female footballer. Did you get surprised because of that? Do, did I get surprised? Yeah. Uh, no, honestly, I, I feel like if anything, we've, we've been betting on ourselves for years, but now it's, it's just seeing, um, it's seeing everyone else actually start to, mm -hmm. to value us in the way that we've seen ourselves. And for Kelsey, do you remember a game that you assist uh, with, Alex, with Alex Morgan in the field and you in the stands? I've been to a lot, honestly. Um, I actually spent last World Cup in France with my my college team, Santa Clara, and we were able to see the quarters and semis. So watched y'all against France, which was such a fun, fun game being in France. And then um, again in the semis against England, that was another really fun game. So um, huge women's national team fan, <laughs> uh, huge Alex fan. Um, it was really cool. Do you see yourself in the future in the national team? Yeah, that's definitely always been a, a goal of mine and a dream of mine. Um, but I just take it day by day and really put my head down and, and work as hard as I can. And I think good things will come from that for sure. Thank you, right, guys. Thank I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm sorry if you didn't get your question asked. But thank you to Alex and Kelsey both. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.